guys. Cindy out here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, we are here with the Gina's Design Team for October, and this month, um, what our prompt is, is to generate, to build, or fabricate. And you know, I, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and I just haven't done it, and I thought this is a perfect time to. I have right here a bunch of papers that over the years Gina has sent to me. Um, and what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is make a journal out of these pages. I'm going to leave them just as is with the borders, whatever. And then what I'm going to do, um, we're going to do some decorating. Now I've got some odds and ends stamps here, some of her images. I've got some of the feathers. I have um, a bunch of the stamps that I have stamped out. So I'm going to do some decorating on this journal and everything in it is going to be related to Gina Aaron's. So I think this is going to be a really fun um, journal to fill up. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the process. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll chat at the end.
guys. So I have done my building, my fab my fabricating, and I'm generated myself a uh, new um, junk journal, basically. So like I said, I, what I did is I used Gina's papers. I used a bunch of just images and stuff like that that I've had, you know, in the drawers. Um, I embossed her um, arrow stamp. Um, these are in her Etsy store. These are a digital. And, you know, I had oh, quite a while ago had gotten those and printed them out and cut them all, you know, cut them all out. And so there's just odds and ends. This is something Gina sent to me. Okay. And what I did is I went ahead and I put some washi tape on the edges just because I wanted to sturdy it up a little bit because it is just basically copy paper. paper. But it's cool. Um, it's going to work out just fine. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick flip through. Let's see. Make sure where I went. Here's this one, this one, this one. Some stickers that I had. Okay, these two that I had done out with inks. And like I said, I just added a little bit to every page. Some pages, not much, but washi. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this journal and every time I want to work with some of Gina's products and design team and that's type of thing I'm going to use this journal to do it this was a koi that was on a um, a postcard that she gave out quite a while ago and this um, just so you guys know this is my most favorite painting and I actually have it hanging on my wall in my art studio so um, I just I absolutely love that and there it is all right so don't forget this month to check out the um, the other artists in the drip description box below. If you have any questions, please let us know. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys next month. Bye-bye.